think perception is okay if you're perceiving yourself, not perceiving yourself for other mm -hmm. people. So perception is cool. Like if that's what makes you feel a certain way to keep pushing, then all right. But if you're only just doing shit to try to appease the other people, oh man, I gotta look like a certain way in front of other people. That's where you fucking up, man. There's some times where I got ghosts. Uh, I want a Rolls Royce ghost. Now, and you know, sometimes I buy jewelry and I buy different things, but to me, it's for <laughs> different milestones in my life. When I get to a certain level and I get to a certain amount of money, it's like I plan for it. It's like be B word plan. <laughs> I plan for it. Like even down to the lick I drink. And, and if you go back and so mm -hmm. those that follow follow me on social media, uh I had a plan when I a few years ago when I made manager, you know, it's like, okay, oh well, I went up into the corporate, I took, you know, a supervisory role. And then I got promoted up to a manager. So when I got promoted to a manager, it was my goal. Like, you know what? I'm going to buy a bottle of Moet. Moet is what I'm going to drink when I reach yeah. this level. So I went out and I had Moet and I celebrated and everything. Then when I moved up to like senior manager, it's like, okay, you know what? I need Moet. I want more expensive. So I want to, I don't know what it costs now, but time, $150 bottle of Dun Perignon. I no no I, I didn't reach this level now so it's done Perry on drinking right now yeah. and if, if, when I was in New Hampshire I was toasting and I had a bottle of done Perry on that was planned in pre-purpose it wasn't for anybody to try to show out or for anybody else or to try to cap as the young folks say or flex that was a <laughs> determined <Right>. goal <laughs> that I already had it hey when I reach this level I'm drinking this and I'm still trying to figure out now this next level, man. You know, because eventually I need to get to that Louis the Thirteenth. Yeah, see, he look now. This this is I want to go into this because this is real spiritual shit that he's saying. It might not sound like it, but it actually is. See, when you do shit like that, you're you're already you're triggering your soul to do certain things. The subconscious starts to you you essentially are like manifesting a different reality that people. It's like the outside looking in for them. Mm -hmm. He walking in a bubble of his own world. People keep thinking, oh, the world is as it is. It is. But you got to understand what that really fucking means. It doesn't mean that, oh, I can't manifest certain things because the world is as it is. What that means is shit is here. If, mm -hmm. if our thoughts, if everything, like I mentioned before, is the ether, that means material realm is controlled by the fucking metaphysical the shit that you're thinking the shit that you're feeling smelling that comes first not the opposite we all think these senses come second because we that's where we fucked up at but that's what we're we're brainwashed to think but this the senses come first we're not perceiving things but we're actually using the senses to create we're manifesting with our senses Use your use your fucking all these senses to create the environment that you want. And that's what he does. When you drink, when he's drinking these things, when he's smelling these smells, and 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 remember, these were thoughts he had. Oh, I'm when I get to this level, I need to do this. He's using all of these senses. Like I said, they came first. He knew what it smelled like, he knew what it tasted like. 